there would actually, I think, be an interesting sociological study of what sort of personality types are drawn to particular instruments. It makes perfect sense that I was drawn to the bass because I sort of wanted to be involved in the world, but was shy. And so no one ever cares about the bass player, especially back then anyway. So I could sort of be involved. I could even be on stage, but not be the focus. My name's Eric Avery. I'm the bass player of Jane's Addiction. The vast majority of Jane's Addiction songs were built around the bass line, the bass melody of some kind or progression, and then a vocal melody that Perry would sing. Stephen, the drummer, is very expressive and, and emotional and dances around a lot. The guitar is playful, dances around a lot. And so the role that I provide is to be a bass, B-A-S-E. And I would say that characterizes my playing. I'm entirely self-taught. I think that really informs the kind of player that I am. I was a socially reticent, shy boy. I started to play bass, which is not an instrument that lends itself to being played alone in a room and sounding very musical. So my initial instincts were to try to make something that sounded beautiful to me and, and complete in some musical way, in the way that playing an acoustic guitar would be more musical sounding. Creating chords and things like that. Doing a chord that's on a guitar, and then that sounding more musical to me and then picking that apart and finding these notes, you know. The simplicity of my bass playing was an expression of some things in life that I learned from culture early on. Less is more, find the essential message in whatever medium it is and do that the other stuff is unnecessary move it out and i think a lot of artists have told us that as they've gotten older i resisted the temptation over the years as i did get more comfortable with the instrument as i did learn more technical stuff to not let that into my playing i would say that the challenge of creating a great bass line is taking something that has finite parameters that are basic and simple and to combine them in some way that is novel that can also disappear from focus and exist. You know, how does somebody go to a canvas with a palette of colors that mankind has been doing that for millennia, you know? How am I gonna make this new somehow and communicate at the same time? And when I recognize that in other people's work, and I just think, it's been lying out there in plain sight and no one else found that. Like a lot of things in the arc of my life, I took it for granted when I was young, you know, I think, some part of me as a young man thought, I'm playing bass now, but eventually I'll be getting the Nobel Prize in science or world peace, whatever. And that sort of hubris of youth made me dismiss bass playing, music making. And I really feel like I appreciate it so much now as a remarkable thing to get to do with your human life for all this time. Coming back to the band all these years later, I have the musical experience in the greater context of being really aware, now that I'm an older guy, of how remarkable it is to be able to make something in the world that affects people. And, and just simply that. And it seems sort of hackneyed to say it, but I'm aware of that and it's palpable to me. And yeah, and it's remarkable. <laughs>